Hi Scorpio! Welcome to your November 2020 general love reading. This is your girl mermaid scale star tarot. Before I get started, and above all else, happy birthday to my beautiful Scorpios. I'm wishing you a whole year of love, luck, prosperity, abundance, and above all happiness. Happy birthday, Scorpio. So, Scorpio, the energy is intense, very intense for most of the collective, but I feel like it's not hitting you guys that hard just because I feel that this is nothing new to you. You've been, you know, transforming, being reborn and getting back up again time and time again. And some of you I do feel during this time there's been a lot of sort of ancestral healing, karmic healing. Um, but I feel for the most part, Scorpio, you're feeling very empowered in this time. Where some people are really struggling, you're getting on your two feet and you're saying, hey, you know what, I've been through worse. So for those of you Scorpios that may be experiencing some transformation, transition, and maybe even empowerment, my love and light is with you at this time. So getting into the reading, this is a general love reading for the sun, moon, rising, Venus, and or any other strong placement in the sign of Scorpio. This will not resonate with every Scorpio that watches this video. Messages are said for those who need to hear them the most, and that's how my intuition and guides prioritize the messages I provide during these readings. If this reading is not for you, Scorpio, I suggest checking your other signs in different placements. Also, Scorpio, not every message in this reading may be for you. Please only take what resonates and leave what doesn't for someone who needs to hear that message. Hi, Cross Watchers. You're very welcome here if you're interested in a Scorpio. Who wouldn't be? I want to remind Scorpio and Cross Watchers, energy is fluid. You may feel like uh, the situation I'm describing, the roles are flipped and reversed. If that's the case, you are more than welcome to use your own discretion to flip those roles. Finally, before I get into the reading, I want to mention that I have reached 200,000 subscribers and I can hardly believe it. It's all because of you guys. Thank you so much for all your love and support of myself and the channel and I want to give back to you guys. So I am doing a giveaway where I'm giving away tarot decks, crystal sets, candles, and all that good stuff. If you're interested in entering the 200k giveaway, just open up the description box and you'll find the rules of entry there. Alright Scorpio, let's get into it. Scorpio. Okay, a lot of messages for you guys as, as I was tuning into the energies. Um, the first thing I heard was bald, okay? I don't know if you're bald, don't know if you're connected to someone bald, maybe balding. But then after that, it transformed into a bald eagle. So I don't know if someone has the eagle as their totem animal. The eagle resonates with someone very strongly. I do feel like someone who is listening to this reading may have Native American ancestry. Um, but more importantly, I saw this eagle like soaring through the sky at a very, very high level. Scorpio, I feel as if you're going to come into a higher knowing about someone or what this connection is. You're going to gain clarity, insight, and it's going to make you feel free almost. I don't know if some of you have been wondering what this person feels, how they feel, what's happening next, but I think in November you're going to get a very clear understanding of all this. Um, and then I heard spotlight. So I don't know if someone works in theater, someone is a performer, maybe someone does something online, a YouTuber, um, you know, someone where someone's in the spotlight. 
But Scorpio, I feel it's like you are in the spotlight, in this person's eyes. I don't feel as if they see anyone but you. You're, if you feel like there's competition or other options, no, you beat out the competition by far. You're in the spotlight, I don't know. That just may be some messages for some of you. Let's go ahead and get into the reading to see what the cards have to say. Any messages for Scorpio? Ooh, the moon. Yeah, there's some fears here. It's, if it's not fears, you guys are really like going through a time where there may be a lot unanswered, but the more you tune into your intuition, the more someone acts on their intuition, acts with their higher knowing, their highest self, the more you'll be let out of the dark in this. You know, and I feel maybe even for a lot of you around the full moon in Taurus that's coming up, something is going to be revealed. I don't know if you have Halloween plans. You may have Halloween plans with this person, um, but something is going to be fully revealed to you. The light is going to be shined after there's been some dark in something. Maybe you feel like you've been in the dark, but really, I, I just feel different because um, Virgo had this in there spread. I don't know if you're dealing with a Virgo or if you have Virgo in your chart, but it's different than what I was feeling for Virgo. Virgo, it was like all this fear, all this illusion, you know, someone just being kind of sketchy. But here I feel as if this is the moon coming in strongly, shining a light on something that you felt a bit left in the dark by, but it's not going to be for long. Oh yeah, the fool. Oh, Ace of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles. It's been a long time coming. And then we also have very strong Pisces energy coming up as well. I don't know if you have Pisces in your chart. You're dealing with the Pisces. If so, watch the Pisces video and the Virgo video as well. Oh, ooh. oh yes. Oh yes, there's feelings. There's feelings here. And Scorpio, if you don't know how this person feels about you or if they haven't revealed this to you, they're going to reveal it very, very soon. But I see where the frustration came in. It's been a damn long time with the hanged man, with the knight of pentacles. My goodness. It almost felt as if, you know, you're getting older by the day waiting for Armageddon to come before this person would reveal themselves. With the moon, um, you guys could be psychic, empathic, even a medium. Ooh, ah, yeah. Um... I feel this tingling in my right ear. I don't know if some of you are clairaudient um, or that right now in this time, like your ancestors, your spirit guides are trying to get very, very close to you, trying to guide you, confirm for you some information, Scorpio, that may be you're picking up intuitively. But the King of Cups is here. Some of you could even be dealing with another Scorpio. Um, but they're here to reveal their cup of love. They've been very cautious, my goodness. Um, and I feel a bit of frustration on your end, Scorpio, because I feel as if you guys are very real people. You are very blunt people, for some of you I'm picking up on. Whereas this person was very, you know, sidestepping, passive aggressive, but not in a way where they didn't know if they wanted to commit, but in a way where they just wanted to make sure that this is something that can actually happen between the two of you. That I almost feel Scorpio, someone was afraid you may have like, you had the potential of breaking their heart in some way. And maybe that's just what happened to them in the past and they held you against that unfairly in a bit. And I feel as if a lot of you know their background, you know their history, you know their story, and you know that they've overcome a lot. But Scorpio with this moon card, I'm also feeling very magical energy at this time. I think you are the light for some in this connection where you're really showing this person there's nothing to fear. Take this chance, take this step with me and I'll show you everything that I can to show you I love you, to show you I want to work on this and I'll be here for you. And that's going to prompt this person to be encouraged to take this next step. Bottom of the deck we have six of swords. Aquarius energy. I think this is moving in a very positive direction because someone's finally being liberated by the love they have for you, Scorpio, and the love you have for each other. And I'm saying that because if you look very closely, 
um, it almost looks like this woman has like chains around her neck that is broken, right? And these two people are, you know, getting a little cozy outside. Um, I don't know if you guys have had outdoor sex with this person, perhaps, maybe in the backyard. No, I don't know. But uh, they're being liberated mentally by the fact that they know you love them and they love you. And I feel as if this is going to be like a confession of love or just everything that they've been holding back is finally going to be revealed because I don't know. I, I also feel for some of you, they may fear that you're pulling away because of their lack of confirmation and validation. But really, I feel this very eye-opening energy after a time of feeling like not much was being said or spoken or even felt. I don't know if some of you are even going to do like a moon ritual on the full moon about something about manifesting something from this connection, but I feel like to tell you it will work. But let's go ahead and get into it. This is moving in a very positive direction, Scorpio, and I think it's because you both have a better understanding of each other and what you're willing to do for each other to be in this position of love. At the center of this, the moon. And what I feel with this, again, different than Virgos, is just maybe both of you are psychic. Both of you are telepathic. Both of you may have spiritual gifts. But more importantly, both of you feel each other in a very psychic, telepathic, intuitive level. You feel each other's energies. This is the strongest I felt out of all the signs that have had the moon card. I don't know if you guys met at nighttime, met at a party, met at an event, but you know, ever since then, you've been in this person's mind and it kind of scares them, the intensity of the emotions that they feel for you, Scorpio. And I feel for a while, it was just trying to figure it all out. I'm hearing like, and this is obviously not for everyone, so bear with me, but like, you met later in life. I don't know if some of you are in your late 30s, early 40s, um, and maybe this person kind of gave up in love in some way, and then here you are. I don't know if you guys practice magic, but I just keep on hearing magic when I'm holding this moon card here. And there's something that they just... They can't get you off their mind. They dream about you. Maybe you even communicate with each other in your dreams. I'm going to definitely clarify the moon card here. Some of you can even have Scorpio moon. The moon. Some, I, I feel for a lot of you, something big is going to be revealed to you by the full moon. On Halloween, perhaps. The world card at the bottom of the deck. This is something I like to see. I think like, you know, after this whole time of either you or this person being afraid of either what this is or where this is going to head. Both of you are going to start to listen to your gut feelings about what you should do with each other. How you feel about each other. And go with that intuition. Go with that feeling more than thinking about it. When is the, the right time? When... Should I act on this? But just doing it intuitively. You bring something out in each other instinctually. There's just this incredible, intense psychic bond between the two of you. Almost as if some of you like finish each other's words, sentences. You know what's on their mind. They may know what's on your mind. It's like you guys can't hide anything from each other. But with this world card, I do feel like there's going to be some sort of success, some sort of completion, bringing, coming out of the dark and being comfortable with who you guys are intuitively. You're, I just feel you guys are falling in love, but it's just way more intense than that. I don't know what words to describe. Um, there's just something about each other that you guys are drawn to. I don't know if it's by magic. I don't know if it's by a bond here. 
Wow. Um, okay. What else? Knight, Knight of Pentacles with the Four of Swords. Yeah, I feel it's like scared them to a degree, Scorpio. You know, the intensity, the power of this love, the emotions they feel for you. But they're not running away from it anymore. They're not hiding from it anymore. Not like they were hiding from you, but it's like they're finally going to let it all out because they now feel and know that this is something that they can have with you. Something that is valuable. Something that you guys can grow into something very, very beautiful. But someone just needs to take the first step. And Scorpio, I feel like you've been waiting for this person to do so. I think you've said your piece, or at least you've given all the hints that you've wanted to. And you've definitely been manifesting, manifesting this person, manifesting the next step. And you're going to see your manifestation come to fruition. But damn, did it take a while. <laughs> damn, did it take a while. I also heard red wine too. I don't know if you drink red wine, this person may. Maybe you split a bottle before. But wow, I just feel like even, I don't know, I'm picking up on such a sexual energy, but it's not like primal sexual. It's like when you two make love, and if you haven't been here, hang in there with me, um, there's just some sort of magic, this energy being exchanged that is just unexplainable. You take each other to these levels that no one else can take you to. You can't, no one else can um, do it but you, Scorpio. What's crossing this, the fool energy, taking the first step, taking that leap of faith, going for it. You know, with the moon card so strongly here, this person could have anxiety in some way. And I don't think it has anything per se to do with you. Maybe someone here has struggled with anxiety and being someone that has anxiety myself or has had problems with anxiety, sometimes we just get in these situations where we just can't come out of the dark. You know, even if everything's being proven to us, even if we see it for everything, it's just still like that what if that's holding you back from taking that leap forward. That could be the leap that changes your life. But even with every evidence that's in front of you, it's still kind of that fear holding you back. But Scorpio, again, like there's something you're going to do for this person, show this person a conversation or even one special night between the two of you. Maybe it's going to be on your birthday. You're going to spend time with this person on your birthday. I don't know, but it's really going to solidify to this person that there's nothing to fear. There's nothing to hold back from. I'm moving forward with this. I'm leaving behind any sort of voice in my head that is just telling me I'm not good enough or that this isn't for me or, you know, whatever that is for this person. I just heard Black Velvet too. Ooh. I know that's a song. Maybe that song will resonate with some of you, but maybe someone has like a black velvet couch, black velvet chair, black velvet pillow. I don't know. Um, but really, they, they just, even if they've tried to walk away or even if they try to pull back, they can't stay back for long. They're always drawn back to you, Scorpio. Because again, there's just this magic about you. There's this intensity about you. I almost feel for some of you with this moon card so strongly, you've known this person in a past lifetime. And that's why like when you guys met, it was so familiar. It was so intense. It was so unexplainable why you feel like you've already known this person or how it just like when you met, it was just like two puzzle pieces coming together almost because there is a spiritual knowing between the two of you, a spiritual familiarity. I'm seeing the letter O. Could be someone's first, middle, last initial. Or someone can have like double O's in their name. I don't know. Let's keep going. What's crowning this reading? Ace of Pentacles. Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, they see something solid in this, Scorpio. 
they're starting to see that this doesn't have to be a fantasy with you. They can make this a reality. And it's something that makes them feel secure. And again, like, feel nothing to be afraid of. This is stable. I won't let you down. I won't hurt you. Of course, not everything's going to be, you know, rainbows, sunshine all the time. But, you know, we can work through it if we just talk to each other, if we just reveal each other and then make a plan moving forward. There's nothing we can't do. There's nothing we can't conquer. Someone could have a canopy as well. But they're seeing that there's nothing to fear and there's everything that could be worth all their doubts and hesitations and just going for it, leaving it behind. This could be the start to something very beautiful. What's rooting this Knight of Pentacles, Virgo energy? Yeah, I mean, it's been taking a bit. And maybe that's kind of what's um, sparking this doubt, fear, hesitation too, right? In someone, whether it's you, Scorpio, or the other person. But for someone, you know, it's not really an excuse, but I just got to say, this person just wants to make sure all the T's are crossed and all the I's are dotted before they pursue this. You know, I feel as if someone could even, um, this is for a very small amount of you, someone could have lost a lot of money due to a divorce and they don't want to go through that again or just go through a divorce. So, you know, when pursuing people, they want to make sure this is someone that gives value, that they can grow something out of this that can be long term. So that's why it's been taking a bit. You know, and I feel as if someone traveled somewhere and got you a gift from wherever they traveled to for some of you. I'm hearing a lucky coin too. Don't know if that will resonate. In the recent past, we have the hanged man, Pisces energy. I feel as if Scorpio You've been so patient with this person. Maybe they've been patient with you, but it's definitely been a sacrifice here. The waiting, you know, the wanting to know, but doesn't want to push someone over, doesn't want to make someone feel uncomfortable. So just still being in this, but waiting until it's the right time, waiting until it will be revealed. And I feel the need to say that, that I, the wait is over. And it's funny because I felt a waiting game type of thing with Taurus too. Um, I don't know if you have Taurus in your chart or you're connected to a Taurus, but the whole time you've been patiently waiting, Scorpio, the more they've been invested in you. They've never taken their eyes off you. They still, you know, that patience is what's made them feel more open to you, Scorpio, that understanding even for some of you. But others of you, you've awakened something within them spiritually. That it has everything to do with the love they feel for you or the love that you feel for them. You've helped them come into a higher understanding. Ah, that's why I saw the eagle for some of you. You've awakened something within them and now it can't be turned off. Now they can't go back. Now. They can't be the same after this connection with you, Scorpio. What you need to know about this connection, King of Cups, Scorpio energy. There is love here, stable love. An emotional availability. And I think someone is finally ready to be courageous enough to reveal their emotions to you because they know this is something that if they offer this they won't be disappointed they won't be hurt they won't feel lost they won't feel broken but you guys can support each other in such a beautiful way and that's why they're feeling more and more comfortable about this more and more ready about this and there's going to be a lot to be revealed here the emotional understanding the emotional love really beautiful. I, I get very 
beautiful vibes from this. Someone could have a beauty mark around their mouth as well. Left corner I'm hearing, but it could be anywhere, honestly. Could just be a confirmation for someone. For the likely outcome of this Scorpio, we're going to go ahead and take this to the extended reading. But before I go, I do and will want to pull a Romance Angels card here. And I'm going to ask Spirit if there's anything else we need to know about this connection. And anything else we need to know about this person and how they feel about you. Anything else we need? Calling in your soulmate. Beautiful. And then pay attention to the red flags. So what I feel about this Scorpio is this is that moon energy of someone's feeling in the dark, fearful, but listen to your intuition, listen to that gut feeling and move towards that. Because if you're listening to the signs of fear, the signs of hesitation, that's just the ego keeping you in a place that's comfortable, but that is not in your highest good. Whoever needs to hear this, the other, whoever else is like out of this, you know, darkness, who's listening to their feelings, listening to their intuition, that's the one who's manifesting. That's the one who's calling in their soulmate. And that's the call they need to listen to more than the call of fear, the doubt. And it's working, Scorpio. I gotta say, it's working. And I do feel something gonna be revealed to you maybe around the full moon or quite honestly, just in Scorpio season. And it's going to be very profound. I feel that all my heart. So we're going to go ahead and take this to extended reading, Scorpio. If you'd like to join me there, just open up the description box and you'll find the link to Vimeo. I'm going to pull some oracle cards as well. But if this is where we depart, Scorpio, I hope that this resonated with you and that you gained some clarity and insight in regards to what's going on. If you did, please let me know. Drop a comment below. Hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe. I love you, Scorpio, very much. And I'll see you next time. Take care, Scorpio.